I believe that every pregnant mum should have a happy and healthy pregnancy. Today I am here with Caroline who is 38 weeks pregnant and we're just going to go through some of the things that mums experience such as lower back problems, tight hips, what exercises to do with the core, what are the core muscles. So I'm going to take Caroline through um, some things that she needs to really address for her pregnancy, although she's 38 weeks pregnant. But we've been working on releasing some of the hips and just getting her mobile again so that she can cope on a day-to-day -day basis. So welcome Caroline. Thank you. So Caroline, tell us about your pregnancy. Okay, well this is my third pregnancy and very uh, much not planned, so I wasn't really prepared physically. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm quite healthy and reasonably fit, I had not really done any sort of training that I, you know, would have really helped yeah. to um, keep my pelvis, pelvis stable and to get me through without so many aches and pains. Okay, so where are your aches and pains? Okay, so I have pain around the sacrum area in the lower back mm -hmm. and it seems to wrap around and come around to my hips um, down the sides and then the hip flexors as well mm -hmm. at the front here. So all of that seems to be quite sore and tight Yes. and not, not as mobile as it should be. Right, and so I've been working with Caroline to release some of those tight spots and also address pelvic floor but also how to stabilize her pelvis so she doesn't go achy she almost feels like she's inflamed yes most of yeah, the time yeah i get burning sort of pains in my hips at night yes sleeping is a problem sleeping is a real problem and has been for at least the past maybe 15 weeks of the pregnancy yes awesome yeah. so that's what we'll do today so we'll talk about postural stuff and then i'm going to have caroline on the massage table and we're going to be doing some massaging yeah and uh, so at 38 weeks pregnant i'm preparing her for her birth <laughs> <laughs> well and truly <laughs> so it is a well-known fact that mums have a better labor or easier labor if that's at all possible we know it's hard but it can be easier when the mum is well prepared in other words she's really good with her pelvic floor muscles and she's able to push properly and also she is released in the hips so she doesn't have all that tightness in the hips and also she doesn't have the tightness in the back so what we're going to do with Caroline I've just got her to go upstairs and change and so we're going to talk about postural stuff so Caroline if I can have you standing up yeah, sure. and let's talk about about postural stuff first and so if I look at Caroline's gorgeous pregnant body here what you want to sort of focus on is having a nice tall posture up here so the earlobes should be really in the middle of the shoulder there and then we're looking at the upper back here so that the back we need to strengthen the mid back here and then we'll go into the lower back here because what happens is as the baby grows and the load goes to the front the pelvis anteriorly rotates and so you've got this massive lordotic curvature here what happens there is that you get tight hips you get stiff lower back here and then also you've got the piriformis muscle which is firing off all the time and you may even experience some sciatic nerve um, problems in the middle of the butt cheek there the piriformis, I call it the pain in the bum muscle. So we really need to address that and how to relieve any kind of discomfort here. And I'll show you that when we do the massage. So Caroline, we, as you're standing there, I just want you to lock your knees. Good. And so this is what happens. They lock their knees and the load goes at the front and there's this like exaggerated lower back issue here and problem and tightness and pain. So if you can unlock your knees, Caroline, and just stand there. So not bent too far, but just unlock them so they're not in a stiff sort of lock position. What that will do is we'll get the lower abdominals working to stabilize the body. So instead of going into that, now we're going into this. And so we're ready. So if you can face the front again. Mm -hmm. So we're going to relieve some of the front of the hips and the back of the hips and just really let Caroline feel amazing after this. Are you ready for this? I sure am. <laughs> Let's go. So when we talk about the core muscles, what are the core muscles? And most pregnant women don't understand that there's a lot more involved than just core, meaning planks. And so the core muscles are your transverse abdominals, which wrap around like a belt around your midsection. 
the pelvic floor, which is very deep internal pelvic floor muscle, and then also you've got your multifidus. The multifidus muscle contracts with the pelvic floor, otherwise it has no contraction. So it's really important to have pelvic floor contraction together with the multifidus. And then the last core muscles that come to work are your internal and your external obliques, which are your waist muscles here, to allow for that rotational movement. So it's really important to understand the layers of the um, core muscles. So you've got pelvic floor, transverse abdominals, multifidus, and your obliques. All this will actually give you a really good base for you to have nice strength with your core. Mm -hmm.